Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. And today I figured we would do a little bit of some multiplayer hopping because we haven't done something like that in quite a while for a video at least. We've done them quite a bit on the live streams recently and had some pretty good luck with that, but I figured we would do a little bit of that here on this particular video. So I'm going to spend the next few hours jumping from multiplayer server to multiplayer server in search of some good trophies and hopefully we can come out with a few diamonds we actually do have another turkey right there actually a couple that is a another 9 to 11 one so we for sure want to take that guy out i don't want to kill any more though just because i don't want to delete this guy's need zone but did want to make sure we got a third one down since we had the opportunity there so let's go ahead and pick all these up. Now, two of these were the 9 to 11 weight, so there is a chance they could be diamond. And this was, I believe, the smaller one. So these two are the ones that were the 9 to 11, and this one is a typical 4.30. So nothing crazy there, but did get a nice little lung shot on it. And this guy over here is the other 9 to 11 weight. And 4.40, so a little bit better. Still not huge, though, but... Decent little start finding a couple max weight turkeys. Okay, so Yeah, first multiplayer server we jumped into <laughs> we have a level five Medium mountain goat and let me make sure we have the guy or let me make sure we have the right gun and we do so Let's just get lined up. This actually might be the white fur variation that we have been after I think it is I think this is the fur variation that I have been trying to find for so long and we got it pretty much like three minutes into recording that is absolutely insane so once again the mountain goat luck has been pretty crazy with the last few times we've done multiplayer through the live streams and here on this particular video that is absolutely awesome this is either common or the white fur I really hope it's the white but I'm starting to think maybe it's common but Oh yeah, that's definitely common, but that is an absolute giant right there. So let's go ahead and pick this guy up. Yeah, this guy is a common fur variation, but 112. This is by far the biggest mountain goat we have ever killed. Like 100%, this is the biggest. And we got it off of a multiplayer session, so that's pretty awesome. Take a look at the true score this guy is really really even this is about as even as they get as you guys can see almost no differences between all of the different measurements that is a fantastic specimen of a goat that actually might be one of the craziest trophies we've got off of silver ridge when it comes to just being a monster diamond not bad at all you guys let me know down in the comments what your biggest mountain goat is because 112 is the biggest one i've ever seen that is absolutely awesome. I can't believe we found that. Okay, so that is a piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. We are on the same server that we got that Mountain Goat, and I think we've barely even played for another five minutes, and we've got this piebald right here, so let's see if we can get a shot on it. It is going to be kind of difficult, just because it is going into that brush quite a bit, but... Once we get the chance, we will take it out with the 4570. All right, we might be able to take a shot now. That should be able to penetrate to at least one of the lungs. Yeah, it did. So this guy will die, or this girl will die. So let's go ahead and run up and claim her. And there she goes, she finally died. Honestly, this particular server has been absolutely loaded so far. We're finding quite a bit of good stuff. I'm very, very happy that I decided to do multiplayer today. It's been a little while since we've done a video focused around it, so I figured it would be a good thing to jump in and try out, since typically I save them for live streams, as I was saying, but I'm happy that I decided to do a video of multiplayer today, because so far it's off to a great start. Alright, so here is that little piebald elk, and that is a beautiful animal. I really like the piebalds that they have for the Rocky Mountain Elk. I just wish they were slightly more rare because, as you guys know, they're a little bit common. Uh, not quite as easy to find as some of the uncommon fur variations, but they're definitely not super, super rare either. Uh, they're kind of in an odd spot where you see them relatively often, a little bit more than you should, 
but they are very beautiful and I do like that there's three or four different variations of them so that they at least look different from each other so we're gonna move on without taxing this one because it is just a female so not really anything too special Alright, so I think I'm going to kind of make this video a little bit of a guide to multiplayer hopping since I do get asked this question quite a bit and that is how to successfully get diamonds from multiplayer servers because I know there's quite a few people that have asked me about how to get more diamonds and I've kind of talked about how to manage herds and stuff in the past and I've done a few videos on how I do my herd managing on my single player maps but I, I haven't really done anything to show off how to get diamonds in multiplayer so Basically what I've done here for this Silver Ridge Peak server that I joined into I joined into it We started here and then I moved up to this lake. I moved up to this one right after and now we're over here, so You're gonna want to do it as quickly as possible. Basically. I always try to hit up some of the best locations uh, For that particular map uh, at whatever time you end up joining at this one's at 13 So a lot of the stuff that I go after isn't drinking right now So I went to spots where I know there's gonna be stuff kind of feeding around the lakes Which is all of these locations right here But as I was saying you want to try and hit those locations up as quickly as possible check all the animals in the area Then fast travel to another spot and just kind of do that for all of the best locations on each map Now we're probably gonna go to a couple more here and that is this one over here. This is a couple really good lakes for mountain goat mule deer uh, mountain lion stuff like that then we're gonna go down to this one probably and since this guy's been hunting down here we're not gonna go to anything down here because it will probably have already been hunted but I probably will kind of hit up these lakes along this road because it doesn't look like he's been over there yet so after I do all that we will jump to another server and pretty much repeat the process and that's kind of what you want to do when you're multiplayer hopping to try and find diamonds uh, if you're wanting to make the most of your time that is what you're gonna want to do so I think for this next location I will kind of show everything off without any cuts so you guys can get an idea of what I'm doing so we're gonna go down to this lake next once you get to wherever you're trying to head to next you want to kind of scout around the entire area Make sure you're not missing anything so as you're running down be trying to spot as much as you can make sure there's nothing crazy that you're gonna be missing out on and once you've scouted the entire area if you haven't found anything good then it's usually best to just move on to another lake and you want to do this as quick as you can and I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't really pay attention to is how much time they're spending at each location and on a map like Silver Ridge Peaks where the times for drinking time and stuff like that are so small if you are trying to hunt something during their drinking times you're gonna want to move as quickly as you possibly can so it's always good to get in the habit of just checking all the locations for them super quick and then moving on to another location so you can make the most of your time on the server and find your diamonds and rares a lot quicker than if you were taking a long time at each location so it looks like we have pretty much checked most of what's here best thing we saw was a couple decent bighorn sheep there was that three right there and then there was a four also but none of those are really worth killing off if you're just looking for diamonds and rares since you're not going to get the respawns from them it's not really worth it unless you are wanting to kind of help the host out with their respawns then you can go ahead and kill a few if you're wanting to do that but if you're just solely looking for the diamonds and rares then I would not even bother with killing anything that isn't one of those so we've already checked everything here so now it would be time to move to another spot and you pretty much just repeat this process until you've checked all the good locations on that server then you move to the next one and that's pretty much how I do my multiplayer hopping for diamonds alright everybody so we have now checked every decent location that is within a reasonable running distance and after checking everything it took us around 30 to 35 minutes to do it all and we ended up going to this lake this lake then to here here this one this one this one and this one right here and then I went to this one and this one here and we finished off right here now obviously it could take a little bit less time a little bit more depending on how many things you actually find along the way but in general it should take no longer than around 30 maybe 40 minutes at the max to kind of search somebody's map and get all the good locations checked out 
One other thing I wanted to mention before we hop to a new server is one thing that's going to help you out a lot is actually knowing the need zone times of all of the animals. So knowing when they drink, they eat and rest is going to be very beneficial to helping you find more diamonds. And I will be leaving you guys a link to a steam page that shows all of the need zone times for every animal on every map because I think that will help you guys out a ton. So I'm going to leave that linked in the description of this video. Be sure to check that out if you're wanting to. Uh, keep up to date on what the times of every animal is and the people that have set up the guide They actually update it every time something gets changed So you don't have to worry about it being out of date either So that is going to be a huge help to you guys, and I really hope it does help you guys Typically, I do like to try and find a server that's relatively empty So uh, we're gonna filter to Silver Ridge Peaks only and we're gonna join this one right here because it is one of eight players and we'll see if we can find something good. Another thing that you guys will want to look out for is make sure that the host is somewhat of a lower level because the lower level maps tend to have more good stuff just because uh, those people that own the maps might not have found all of the good things because they might not have all of the locations unlocked. So this guy right here is level 16. So this actually should be a decent server to kind of showcase this on. We're going to try and go to areas that aren't really hunted on this particular map and it looks like we're actually gonna head up here first, so let's kind of see what we can get up here. All right, guys, well, three servers later, we did find something else pretty cool right here. We have a nine to 11 weight light brown turkey. Now, this does have the potential of being a diamond, and I'm really hoping it is because I've been trying to find a super rare turkey. So this would be really cool if we could get this and have it actually be a diamond, but we're gonna get to about 150 maybe 200 meters out and then take the shot on it. All right, we are now about 191 as you can see let me just Double check on that range real quickly to make sure that's the actual distance and yep 192 it says so let's go ahead and Smoke that guy right there Put a second one in him just to make sure he goes down and there he is all right, so I'm very excited to see if this guy is going to be a diamond because a couple days ago we actually did get a level two diamond and I'd got another one in the past too. So there is that small chance that this could be a super rare turkey. And if that's the case, this might be one of the best things we've killed as of recent. And here is this absolutely beautiful turkey. Let's go ahead and stomp all the grass down so we can get ourselves a good picture of it. What a beauty. That is awesome. Definitely gonna be a cool addition if it is a high scoring one. So let's go ahead and see. It's just a gold, but it is a 4.40, so it is a little bit bigger than the average level two uh, nine to 11 weight you would actually find. Most of them score around 4.30, but this one's 4.40, so this is a good size one. We will taxidermize it and replace one of these smaller ones in our lodge so that is pretty cool definitely an awesome find and it just goes to show you guys that you can get some pretty good stuff from multiplayer i think right now we've been going for about maybe an hour and a half and we've already got ourselves a piebald elk a monster mountain goat and a light brown turkey so not too bad at all Ooh, okay, so we are on the exact same server that we got that light brown turkey and now we have a piebald pronghorn right here So this is something that does happen quite often when you're doing multiplayer hopping like this There's a lot of times where once you find a server that has some good things on it You tend to have more than one on that server So it is worth checking everything if you do find something really good Just like this guy right here is a pretty decent piebald and ooh, that actually let me get a look at what this is oh my gosh okay so like i was saying once you find one good thing there is usually multiple good things so yeah it's always good to make sure you check everything once you do get into a server that does seem like it has some good trophies so that just goes to show multiplayer is a fantastic way to get more rares and diamonds if you guys are trying to do that and like I was saying towards the beginning of this video I get that question so much as to how to use multiplayer to get yourself more diamonds and more rares and 
this right here is the way to do it. Now, it does take time some days. Uh, as I was saying, I went three servers without finding anything, and then we got into this server right here, and we've seen three different rares so far. No diamonds on this particular server, but three rares is definitely a pretty good thing. Now, we definitely did not hit that dough very well, but... I mean, it was just a doe, so I'm not too worried about that. So we'll see if we can track her down. And in fact, she is right there, but that is a piebald mule deer doe. And right after we pick her up, we'll go and get that piebald pronghorn over there. So let's go ahead and grab this. That is a beautiful looking doe. And obviously did not hit any vials with those shots, which I didn't expect to, but like I was saying, it's just a doe, so it's not really anything too special. But I don't think we'll taxidermize this because it is just a female and we've already got plenty of them and we also have a few piebald males so don't really need this so let's go ahead and move on. The second that I ended up seeing that piebald mule deer I at first really thought it might have just been nothing but I figured I'd check it just in case because it did look a little bit wider than the other things in the area but I honestly figured it would probably just be the uh the butt of a pronghorn kind of flashing in the sun, but it definitely was not, and that is why you always check everything. But anyway, here is our piebald pronghorn. This guy was a level three, and it looks like a decent level three. Not a monster, but not too tiny either, so let's go ahead and pick him up. 69.90. It is only a silver, but still a pretty cool find, and... Obviously, when you're doing this, you're just going to be going for any rares or diamonds you can find, and this guy right here is an absolute beauty. I really do like the pronghorn rare variations that they have. I think the fact that they have two pie balls is pretty awesome, and I like that with a lot of the species here on Silver Ridge. Quite a few of them have multiple different patterns for their pie balls, and I really hope they revisit some of the older species and do something similar to kind of give them some more variation and give us players more stuff to grind for. But, yep, a very beautiful piebald pronghorn. Uh, we probably will not tax this guy because, uh, as with the mule deer, I've killed a lot of these and I don't really care to put this guy in the lodge because he is a smaller one. So, not anything tax worthy, but definitely another cool find here in multiplayer. Alright everybody, we are back here in the trophy lodge and... We need to add this goat to our wall because it is by far the biggest goat we have ever killed. So let's go ahead and throw this guy up. And he was almost 112.1. He was just barely off of it, but he will replace the one that we currently have in here. So that is awesome. That is such a cool find. I'm really happy that we managed to come across this guy. And he just happened to be in the first server we joined, which was even better. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put this other mountain goat up somewhere since we did just pull it down. I don't know if I've got a spot where I can actually put it. But one thing we will do is get rid of this female light brown turkey and put our male light brown one right here. So that's going to look a lot better than having the female one here. And this guy was actually a pretty decent sized one too, which is awesome. I'm really happy that we managed to come across this guy here. But yeah, we're getting pretty filled on uh, the smaller plaques that Turkey can actually go on. I really wish they could go on these particular mounts right here. I don't see why they can't. It has never made any sense to me, but I mean, it is what it is and there's nothing we can really do about it. But I just wish they would change that a little bit. Alright everybody, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope these tips help you out with finding your diamonds and rares in multiplayer because it was pretty good to us today. We got the piebald elk, the pronghorn, the mule deer, the light brown turkey, and that diamond mountain goat all in the span of two hours. And it was really those two servers, the first one and the last one that we joined, that really delivered. And that's usually how it is in multiplayer. You'll join quite a few servers, and until you find the right one, uh, it might be a little bit rough. But once you find a good server, it's usually a super good server. So, hope this helps, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But, I will see you all in the next video. Peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.